I don't really have much of an intro for this. I was thinking about it, but I don't really know anything about this game. So we're just going in completely blind, Daredevil style. I don't know what the fuck we're going into, but I hear this game's great. <laughs> What's up, guys? Don't worry, CP3. I got the headphones. I got I I'm ready. I'm ready. I needed to test things before I started the stream to make sure that like I was able to hear uh, or you guys were able to hear the audio with my headphones in. And it looks like that the uh, audio level is decent. So hopefully it comes through. JC Gaming, I see you too. What's up, man? Um, this is completely blind. I have no nothing, no context aside from what was given to me uh, as to like bring me into the game, which was this game is an indie game to where it has a sequel coming out pretty soon at some point. And uh it's made by Ninja Theory, and it's about fighting your own demons or some shit. No clue, but I hear this game's fantastic. Uh, the voices will guide you. Oh, here we go. All right. This may not be October or anything, but I hear this game's a little bit suspenseful. So if you get a little bit of uhs and uhs, don't worry. That's just me being a bitch. So I am playing on controller. I don't know if it's better on PC, uh, like keyboard and mouse, but... It seems like it has controller settings, so I'll just I'll take it easy on myself and just use a normal controller. After this, play the Randy Orton song. Which doesn't Randy Orton have like a different like I know that from like when I was watching wrestling, uh, he used to have a different song than what he has now. I, I don't I don't know if it's the same one or or even what the new song sounds like, but I, I even forget what the old one was. But I know that they're different. That's that's as much as or that's as far as that goes. I haven't, like, seen wrestling, like, at all, like, since, like, it was, like, right before WrestleMania 24, and I got on board a little bit after WrestleMania 21, so, I wasn't really in there for that long, so, I don't know. It would also probably be better if I didn't have the fucking mouse on her. Alright. I did mess with the settings already, so, we are just gonna go straight in there. And I liked how when I first clicked onto this Hellblade feature or whatever, it said, do not go in this before beating the game. So I don't know what this is, if it's like extra content, but I guess we'll just jump right in. Uh, I know there's difficulty settings here too, so I'm just going to play out normal difficulty. I have no idea as to what to expect or anything, so... Who are you? Doesn't matter. I gotta up the volume on my end. How about you guys? Should I uh, up the volume for you guys too? You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Senua, okay. It's okay? Alright, I'll just up it a little bit. Wherever the hell my mouse is. Oh, it looks like I can Oh, it's on full screen mode. Okay. What's happening? All right. If it does have to change, I'll have to like get out of full screen mode. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting. Our track is fantastic too. This is a journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories. Oh, this is really like somber at the start. I like it. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. It might, but uh, I didn't see that in the settings. But right. wh when I get free reign, then I'll check. They've been around ever since the tragedy. That's not quite true. Some are old. By the way, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, that song that you said. I don't think that's the same one. Changed. I think the darkness changed them. Just like it changed her. Can you this game is quite nice. Aesthetically, even. Look. Up ahead. Do you see it too? You promised you could fix yes. it. What about my voice? Is my voice like overpowering like the background and all that? Or should I lower myself? Place the Northman Core Hells. 
I will like turn the gradient stuff. Not much. I'll do it a little bit. Alright. Let me see if that actually Oh that's back, upping it. Safe. There we go. It's let me lower it. Alright, let, let's leave it like that for now. And if I need to change it, just let me know. So I don't mean to like, you know, I do have the subtitles on so I can but read at the same time. Um, this is made by the same developers as uh, the ones who had worked on Heavenly Sword. I know that for sure. Devil May Cry, the reboot. And I think they did another game in between those. But I think this was made after DMC, like full force. I don't know so much about Heavenly Sword. I just know a lot of good stuff from what people have said. And DMC Devil May Cry was decent for what it was. Not really a great Devil May Cry game, but just a decent game in general, especially for, for for a lot of other action games at the time. It was pretty good, but again, in comparison to what DMC it already was, just of course story wise and all that didn't fall or beat to expectations. But for this, I hear nothing but fantastic things, and so far, this is just giving me more ominous like feelings and stuff that I had similarly to uh to Bloodborne. You be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness. The darkness. Darknesses. Oh my god, if Dave Chappelle's in this, I'll lose it. Growing stronger. Cowering over her. He might try and ignore it. Turn away. But it's always there just out of sight. Well, it's a very long intro, too. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. If Blood War is like this, I will buy it immediately. Well, I don't know so much about gameplay, but it's definitely giving me like that very ominous, you have no idea what's going on, but, you know, danger where you wary type feel. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Oh. On your guys' end, is the frame rate dipping? That's far. Because it looks like on my end, it's starting to go down a bit. Oh. I didn't know I could actually have control of this. Oh, now I don't have control of the camera anymore. On my end, it's showing uh, skipping frames, guys. Um, if it is on your end, just let me know. The intro is finishing. Okay. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. What? There's no going back. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. Frames are dropping, okay. There's nothing to It go looks like it to. cleared up. And worse to look forward Ooh. to. It might feel it might actually run better on windowed, so once this kinda clears up, let Maybe me uh you have a let me test it. This story. Yeah, skip frames sixty percent over the, yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely letting me know. Okay. Let me just test for bad frames. Okay, and it looks like it's within uh cutscenes. Alright, for now we go into window mode. Escape. Uh let's see. Um Let's see. High, very high. Let's um. 
Let's do it. Oh, it, it was on windowed. Oh, windowed full screen. Okay. Uh, let's apply that. Or confirm. Okay. So now, okay, now I'm able to do that. All right. So now that it's in window mode, it actually, it looks just fine for you guys. Um, and it's, oh, there's a little bit of choppiness there. Frame rate, test. She walks forward. She turns to the left, turns to the right. Ugh. On my screen, it looks just fine. Let me see. V-Sync to off? Let me check that. Hold on. Uh, let's do graphics. Let's test that. Oh my god, that makes it so much worse. Oh man. That is worse. Um. I might just put it on lower settings. And see if that makes it better. So now the V6's on. Yeah, that that makes it tremendously better. Um again, for the for the people that are watching later on, I apologize. I'm just trying to make sure that it looks better for the for you guys as a viewing pleasure. Let's see. Um Let's just make them all on high. Yeah, let, let's let's just do that for now. Uh, I don't see much of a difference on my end. And it looks like it's much... Wow, that's much better. Let me know on your guys' end if that's if that's better. Because it looks like it's way better instead of being on very high. Unsubscribe because of technical issues. Well, <laughs> I don't know if... Well, you could unsub and then not do that. It's good? Okay, yeah, cool, cool. Alright, I apologize for everyone watching for the VODs and stuff. But... Use your eyes. Use your eyes. Look Come on. closer. She can't focus. Why, Why can't she look focus? Focus? Take a closer look, Senua. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. Do not forget my story, Senua. Oh, shit. I, I let go of the button. Okay, well. Hell and your I, I didn't actually have it there. mean to do that. Oop. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight. Have I ever played Dante's Inferno? I have but heard of Dante's Inferno. I have not touched it. Um, I was planning on adding it to the docket at some point because they hear good things on top of that too. But I believe my brother played it and beat it. I don't remember. Did you beat Dante's Inferno? Oh, he did beat it. Oh, there you go. I remember that at least. Wow, even the fucking water textures, like, for her walking around looks good. Wow, this environment. Alright, can I take this, though? No. Wow. These voices in my head. Whoa, look at that. Woo. That's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know of the gameplay and all that. I've seen plenty of it. I just never played it myself. Woo, she just said stop it. Wow, this game really is all about, like, your own mind, isn't it? That looks cool. Blood, mist, and rock. You can sprint? Okay. Your fool's right. What was 
I'm sure at some point I was like also just kind of walking just to take in the environment but which lies the halls of hell the place they call Helheim Ooh, no I like that. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. This is just God of War 20, uh, what was it, 2017? Whatever the hell it came out. Because you already have the uh, the decapitated head there, and it tells you things. So that's where it's more like a jog? Okay. It's not the sticks. It's not the other buttons. Oh, L1. Okay. Ooh. Gorge, like, environment-wise, like, it, Skybox looks great. Same with the, uh, the textures on, like, the mountainside. Everything looks pretty good. Lighting is nice too. Do you know where the bridge you to Helheim. I forget its name. These constant voices. Wow, man. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden. Oh, the wave kind of looked weird. <laughs> Let's see, shall we? Oh, look at it flapping. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, don't worry. I will. I, I just... I heard that I had to get used to that, but I didn't think it was, like, constant like that. I guess that kind of, like, helps with, like, you walking around and just, like, endless abysses and stuff. Pretty decent water. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men... Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelheim. Yeah, this is getting very God of War reboot of right now. And darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. All right, now this little bit's giving me a little uh, Tomb Raider 2016 feel. Was it 2016 or 2015? I think it's uh, Tomb Raider 2016. I like how the voices describe everything darn so repetitive. So far, I noticed that too. It's like, th like they seem to have like different things. Like to say, even here. Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. I'm, I'm trying to figure out like which voice is hers like I guess it's the one that's captioned in white I guess but then like it's it's like talking in third person on top of that too yeah it's definitely not like Bloodborne in that perspective It seems like it's still dropping in frames for you guys. Let me know, CP3, because it looks like it on my end. I will change the settings once more. Just to, whoa, look at this dude. Okay. An old fool. <laughs> truth is my truth. Hmm? It's good to see you again. 
Lower your uh, you encoder your settings. In this life and the next, I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Okay, I'm assuming it's uh, it's like my uh, OBS settings. All right. So the the issue is being is that I have to probably uh, like restart the stream just to make sure. So I'll I'll take care of this uh, this setting real quick. I'm just going to end the stream and just change it. And then I'm going to do some tests on my end. And then we will restart. Um, I won't go any further than this. So for anyone that's watching possibly in the uh, in the VOD or the YouTube video, uh, I won't be mixing the two visuals together. I'll just have them as two separate videos. But I'll leave it as like part one and then part 1.5 or something like that. So uh, for everyone at home, I, uh, sorry about that for everyone watching. But uh, I will restart the stream and I'll uh, type in the chat to restart. So... Give me just a few minutes and I'll be right back. Sorry about that. <laughs> 